Hey, what's going on everyone? Botch TV here, and I'm here with another character profile. So this time we got the baller Jordan Williams. So Jordan Williams and Savannah Williams are the next two profiles we're going to do. So this one is Jordan Williams. Jordan Williams is the younger sister of Savannah Williams, and they were WNBA stars before they were wrestlers. Um, they spent some time as kids playing basketball together on the blacktop in the streets of Brooklyn, New York, and... Uh, they grew up Brooklyn Nets fans as well as uh, or New Jersey Nets uh, when they were in New Jersey. And they also grew up co as Kobe fans. Hence why they have the numbers number 8 and number 24 tattooed on them and the basketball uh, tattooed on them. That's the matching tattoo. They wore those numbers in the WNBA. So the story goes is that they were basketball players they always dreamed about playing pro they ended up going to college but were undrafted right out of michigan and savannah was actually signed before jordan was uh, so jordan came in as a rookie they ended up going to the finals and losing to the las vegas aces um twice um unfortunately and and, uh, you know, I did a little bit of a backstory um, for that. I actually streamed that, and that was the backstory. And then I went ahead and I took it to the next level, bought NBA 2K22 when it was on sale and created this sort of what-if scenario, uh, which you can watch from NBA 2K22 to NBA 2K23 now, on my YouTube channel, and it explores the what if scenario of what if Jordan and Savannah never left the WNBA and actually continued their careers as basketball players and didn't train to be wrestlers. So how they came into RCW was really, really random. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with them quite yet, and then I ended up making them a tag team and i had women's tag titles for a little bit in my universe mode and they actually were tag team champions as uh ballin uh they received the nicknames of buckets and baller and the buckets and baller connection in the WNBA just because savannah was lights out beyond the, th the three-point line as well as uh jordan being lights out on the court anything she could do anything from three-pointers to getting steals um the only thing she couldn't do was dunk because, you know, she's only 5'6", uh, whereas Savannah stands at 5'10". So Savannah's got a little bit more size uh, on Jordan than... Um, <laughs> so, you know, she could obviously do more with that size. But Jordan, I gave her the the signatures of the, of the Deep Six. Uh, that is her uh, signature. And her finisher is called the Flagrant or the Buzzer Beater. Um... The flagrant is a knee strike, and the buzzer beater is just a submission from behind. Um, and uh, I gave her those names because obviously basketball. It explores her basketball uh, background. Uh, for the attire, uh, initially she just had a silver and black attire that was kind of uh, Brooklyn Nets themed attire, but uh, I went an extra step so today actually i went ahead and i found this really cool pixelated pattern uh that you can see here in this screenshot and um i attached the logos that i already had so i attached the brooklyn b and the alternate brooklyn brooklyn logo that's on their alternate jerseys as well and i attached that both on the pants as well as uh the left side of her top you can't see it but it's on the edge of the left side um it says brooklyn uh just like uh the one on the one pant leg there and uh, i did that and i just thought it came out really really nicely and uh it's really really cool i got a really cool storyline that i'm gonna incorporate for her in uh season uh season 14 the, the newest uh season i believe that's the season that we're on now and um yeah, uh, the idea actually just came randomly. I bought NBA 2K22 when it was on sale, and I thought, what if Jordan and Savannah were WNBA stars? I thought of, I thought of the names Williams first. I thought of the last name first, and then the first names came to me. And you know, 
uh, and I just went with it. And most of the time when I think of these stories, they all just come out of nowhere. And and I add them to these cause, just to give a little bit of personal um, attachment to them. By the way, the custom facial texture uh, for Jordan and Savannah is the same facial texture. It's just used as a different template since they're sisters. I wanted to make them look alike somewhat. Um, they are twins. They are not identical twins. They are fraternal twins. They're not I I identical. But I still wanted them to look somewhat alike. Um, you know, even though that they might not be identical twins, you know, they kind of have similar facial features and, and things like that, you know? So, um, that's what I wanted to do. And Buckets and Baller was born, and, and that's kind of the way it came to be. So hopefully you enjoyed this short little uh, character profile on Jordan. Uh, we're going to do Savannah next. And uh, let me know if you guys want to see more of these. I love getting the chance to explain the stories behind these characters because I don't get to do a lot of that when I stream. You know, I'm so focused on calling the match and, and, and doing all that. Um, and uh, sometimes it can kind of get lost. So rather than answer a bunch of questions, I just make these videos um, to, to give you guys a little bit more uh insight on how these characters came to be so let me know if you guys want me to do more of these i'm always open to doing more of these on on newer characters if i decide to have newer characters come along uh and uh i will catch you guys on another video